sorry, I'm just in your way there, get out and show you how brilliant it is at orientating itself. Now, it's, you don't worry about it because they're so clever that it will figure out where it's going. So you pick it up like this. And this, of course, is dung, obviously. And the beetle is going to push the dung in exactly the right direction. See now, it stands on top of the dung and figures out which way it should be facing. So if I turn it like that, now this one's not so good. Normally what they do is stand on top of the dung pile. There we go, figures out where it's going and then it starts to move. <laughs> it's really quite clever. I'm slightly worried that that was baboon dung. But I, <laughs> I subtly smelt my hand and we seem to be okay. I think it's not baboon dung. Anyway, there it goes. It will go and find probably a mate. In fact, I suspect this is probably the female who's made that ball and she's going to go and bury it somewhere and put her egg in it, or she would have laid her egg already. There you can see it turning around every so often on top of the ball, orientating. There we go. Now she's either prepared a hole somewhere or she will still dig one, but she knows where she's going. It's just amazing. It must be the most frustrating process, pushing a ball like that. It f falls, <laughs> she falls down, it falls down. Can you still see it, Brian? There, she's found the hole. Can you still see it? Uh, which, let me, um, can you see it now? In the way. How's that? So she's found her hole, everybody, and she's now burying it. So she's digging from underneath. We haven't found any impala lambs just yet. I can just hear some impala calling off to the right-hand side. Isn't that cool? So that dung ball is going to go under the ground there. Can you see the soil moving there? <laughs> this is so cool. Now I can't answer any questions if you do have them, I'm afraid. But while we just watch this sort of unfold, to tell you that this is now definitely a female because she's burying the ball. The males don't bury the balls. They make the balls and then attract letties with them. They take them off and they, um, they mate and eat a, a good meal of dung. And then she'll go off back to the dung pile, make a ball like that, lay the egg in the middle, and then roll it off to a spot like this where it is buried. That is fantastic. It's disappearing very so, ever so slowly. While the wind blows and the Diedrich's cuckoo goes. Can you see it still? Yeah. It's almost gone. And she's turning it over inside, I think probably to give it a covering of soil. Now she's prepared this hole. This is not a new hole, she's made it there. <laughs> it's gone now. That is, I have never seen this before. In all my years of watching dung beetles, I've never seen them actually bury a ball like this. Can you still see it, Brian, or is it gone? Slightly Just see it. How oh, fantastic. She's using a spade-like front part of her head. It was elephant dung, thankfully. I can actually see the dung pile where they're ca gathering it. Marvellous. Well, let's leave that there. The dung pile's just up ahead there on the road, over here. There we go. Very new dung ball being made here. And of course, Brian, you can see next to my lovely green laces, can't you? Yes. yes. Marvellous. Let's press on. We're right next to Arathusa Camp at the moment. Brian and I are probably going to pull in there for some breakfast, I think, because it's a bit cold out here. Yeah.